crazy. We know who's making the movies. All of the Klansmen are making the movies. So look, my next thing that I'll be talking about, I'm good on time? My next thing I'll be talking about is this uh, to the white man. I like to give a message and shout out to the white man. You know, you ain't nothing but a freaking punk sissy. Now, why did I say that? I'll tell you why I said that. Because you say, <laughs> Robbie referring off. I'm trying to save the animals. Shut up, punk. Why don't you just call out who messed up the animals? Who's in stinking them? Who's killing them? That's your white brother. But you're a punk. You don't want to go against your white brother. <laughs> Too busy is sucking his penis to go against him. Not nothing wrong with doing that. If that's what you into. But the bottom line is, what are you doing? You don't want to go against him. You white women can't over Nick. <laughs> Forever doing that crazy crap. Doing something again, Madonna. Well, I'm trying to adopt all these, all these black kids. Well, I think you're freaking them. I don't have, you know. One man's opinion. But really, what are you doing to those children? And why haven't you helped black people to adopt black children in Africa? What are you doing? I'm trying to make a statement. Nothing wrong with that, you know. But why don't you tell the truth? And, but the bottom line is, who's destroying the air? Those people say, I want to save the air. You know. <laughs> That's how white folks are. <laughs> Not they neck right to freak out trying to pull the hair out of them. I don't want to talk about you. I'm just saying, you know, why don't you just call it your white brother's doing it? He's doing it. He's killing all the people in Africa. He is. He's giving all those people AIDS. When AIDS came out, it came out here. Come out over there. Then what you did, you made a lie of, didn't you? Bastard. You in the movie saying it's an African monkey. Because you ain't nothing but a sissy. You hide behind things. Scared you. You do all these dark things, dark secrets. They ain't even dark. People know your number. That's why China don't want you over there. And anybody in Iran don't want you over there. Anybody who got any damn North Korea, anybody who got any damn guts, anybody who want to hold their damn house up, don't want you over there because as soon as you come over there, here's the damn fires. Look what's going on out here in L.A. All these damn fire things burning the hell up. I think God's got a lot of dealing with that. But that's what we want to do, y'all. We want to lead this country. Because God is damned this place, America. So we're asking you, people outside of America, who believe in Jesus, Personally, I don't think none of white people believe in Jesus at all. I don't think y'all believe in God anyway. But you can prove me wrong by your donations. But I think you won't give any anyway. Because you're a damn liar. But you can try to prove me wrong. And I don't know where they're coming from. And this ain't no begging you for no money, neither. Asking you to help people here on Skid Row in L.A. Get off their feet. Help them. Get homes. 
But I don't think any of you are Christians in a first damn place. Because none of you Christians ever come out. I always look at the Christian channel. I don't see no Christian saying that the, the, uh, the France did this, uh, the, uh, the English did this, the white people did this, none of y'all. Y'all still hiding. That's why you going straight come the day of judgment. You going to burn your butt off. Yeah. And guess who's going to be there smiling? That's right. Because you're nothing but hires. The synagogue of Satan. That's what you are. But those who are not, I understand what you might think. But I've yet to see anybody to come forward straight out. Say they, you know, uh, call, call it straight out. But, uh, <laughs> you know what, hope is time out for. You're down just a few years, a few days, and your time is up. Okay, so on that tip, I'll see you the next time, hopefully. I, uh, I love you, my black brother and my black sister. I love you. Treat the black woman nice here. And treat the black brother nice as well. We're all sick in one way or another. No sickness rises above the next. So the thing is, we just have to have respect for each other and smile. Accept yourself, accept others, and be yourself, please. That's who they are. And thank you very much.